Thank you very much. I have a question for you to ask. What kind of music did I play? Can anybody tell me? So I started initially with pure Indian classical style. Then when I in the second walked into the second part, it was more of Arabic uh, music from Turkey or Iran, Iraq, something like that. And in the end, I played something like blues or like little improvisation jazz or rockish style. That would I play in rock. The notes of all this I played were exactly the same. You will hear it in one way. If there was somebody from the Western land, he would hear the guitar style in my playing, -ra 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 -ra, that kind of thing. And if somebody was from Middle East area, somewhere around that, he would recognize the Azan type uh, notes. The point is music or sounds are very closely connected with the culture. And culture also incorporates the upbringing of a person. Many, many years ago, when I was a little younger, uh, I composed a piece. This all digital and everything was kind of new. This must be like 1998 story or probably around that. Digital uh, composers, uh, like machines had come. So I composed a very nice piece. I uh, got, took it to some friends and uh, musician friends and they heard all that and they said, this is very nice, very nice and all that. So there were like a lot of sounds available that I had played flute. So at one point, there were some nice bell sounds. There were tongue, tongue, tongue. 
tang 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 so they were very nice interlude to the next section what happened was i have a very dear friend of mine is an incredible guitar player he's a german guy his name is budhain uh, i asked him to hear that he heard the entire piece and he was like puzzled he didn't say a word he didn't say it was good he didn't say it was bad he was just puzzled he thought for a moment and then asked me milan i heard these bells over there church bells over there why are these there why are these sounds are there i didn't have an answer i said like they sound very nice in in the sequence so he said you see i have grown up in germany in a small village where we had a church and the moment i hear these bells i remind it reminds me of my childhood but the music has nothing to do with it it's completely out of context for me i am born and brought up in pune so that cultural connect with, with the sound was not i just saw that as a lovely sound eventually i went to france and uh, I, we, i had a very nice tabla player with me and typically what happens he played something very fast and very aggressive and all that um, i announced that uh, this is like a sound of train which many tabla players do there was no reaction from the audience at all generally in pune i mean india everybody will clap and all that there was no reaction two days later when we traveled with their tgv a very fast train then i realized that dhadak 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 that sound never comes from that train so they just couldn't connect that to the railway sound now i'm going to play a piece for you and you tell me what what it r- reminds you don and correct why this happens because in many movies you have heard my guruji pandit hariprasad chavrasia and many other play- flautists playing very similar piece for a morning when there is a sunrise there is hero heroine or whoever is on the beach or somewhere in the mountains you either visualize this as a morning scene or you hear, visualize this somewhere in pahar that is mountains there are some sheep or goats and one guy is sitting on some tree and playing some flute this is cultural connect we are able to get because we are here we are born and brought up here but the same piece will probably mean not this to an american or a britisher or a european person or australian or african that will be completely different to them anything you want to understand you somehow have to connect it with the sounds the visuals the smells in today's world everything has become so fast and so mechanical and so digital somehow we uh, kind of drift away from that and we try to analyze everything analyzing is not easy i'll show you i'll conclude this with this one small demonstration i want to ask you a very simple question can you count like 1 2 3 4 can you count can you count can you count sir yes of course can you count sir yes so i can't hear anything can you count everybody can count okay tell me how many are there 3 3 so so easy right you really can count now see <laughs> you can't count even i won't be able to count because i understand the time frame we perceive feel we perceive that okay i'm it's very simple it's like you must have seen it happening somewhere so i'm i'm going to ask you some musical question and you can clap you can shout you can sing whatever and you just give me replies okay
You don't need to count, right? So we have to understand the connect of the sounds, and we have to have more like open mind. Not you can't just measure everything in this digital world because the digital world kind of forces us to measure and calculate everything. Thank you very much. Thank you.